My name is June August, uh, like the two months, and I've been making art all my life. I started very young. My art has evolved over the years and uh, made art all over the world. I got different grants and stuff. I had a research fellowship to Tokyo University and I studied in Japan for a year. And I worked in China too and stuff and around the United States and Europe. They said, do you want to come to Paris? Would you like to make art here? I said, yeah, <laughs> sounds good. A lot of things um, were just opportunities that were offered to me and as when I would say yes, then I would get to go to those places. When I was a little kid, we used to go to Westerns and um, I didn't like the way the people were picking on the Native Americans. I decided to become a Native American. I invented a name and I, um, my mom made me Native American dresses and when I went to Missouri to visit some relatives, there were some Native American tribes there and they bought me moccasins and jewelry and stuff so I could go into my Native American mode. <laughs> and this piece, uh, mirrors a little of that old thinking of when I was a little kid. Here's the Native American working with the bees trying to help our nature survive. As time goes on when you're an artist you switch your subject, well your focus and so I um, my most recent focus was on Ukraine and um, I, I was just thinking of the suffering at Guernica one of the big focus before that was um, art about women. I mean, the whole series that I showed in London of Greta Thunberg, because I uh, was focusing on women and I wanted to have women of different cultures. And she was on the news. This is before the pandemic. When she spoke, it was the autistic scream. And Munk, who also is a Nordic artist, um, he did a series of psychological paintings and. One that's the most famous is what he called the scream of nature. Nowadays people just call it the scream, but Munch, the actual artist that made it, he called it the scream of nature. So I put Greta Thunberg in front of the scream of nature and I made a series of 21 or 23 of them, each one different colors, like Andy Warhol. The scream really personified her for me because when she would speak, like she would be yelling at the UNN, she would say, how dare you, you know? And I wanted to get, I made her mouth not smiling. I made her screaming. <laughs> I'm gonna be in a little exhibition in Quincy. It's about climate. And my, uh, another different Greta Thunberg, one with a yellow sky, is gonna be there. And that's gonna open up toward the end of March. So we can look forward to that. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, well. That about wraps it up, so thank Perfect. you. Perfect, thank you. Yeah.